We have come so far. But we have leagues to go before this business is concluded. We must push forward. We must find a way through the walls of the fortified city that looms ahead of us. A Dramora army guards the walls of the Citadel, but there are those among us who recognize the city, who knew it well before it was pulled from Nern. We can use the guild halls inside to launch a surprise attack, provided someone prepares the way. Find a way inside and locate the Fighters Guild. Wards protect the hall, making it impossible for anyone to get in or out of the building. We know a secret tunnel that leads into the hall, but we'll be trapped inside until the wards are deactivated. Time is not on our side, but I will indulge you. Ask your questions. The wards are part of the defenses from an earlier era. They could be activated to protect guild halls in times of trouble. Once set, the only way in or out of the hall was through the secret passageways. You need to find the ward key. The ward key is decorated with arcane runes that can unbind the defenses and deactivate the wards. It should be near the guild hall. Find the key and deactivate the wards. Then the fighters can emerge from the hall and surprise the Dramora. Even the strongest armor has chinks that can be taken advantage of. Look for a place to climb or a break to crawl through. The female Dramora offered to help us, but Galerion sent her away. If you run into her, see what she has to say. Then you should certainly seek her out. We could use whatever help is offered, no matter its source. Just be on your guard. A Dramora would never offer help without some sort of string attached. That pompous mage told me to keep an eye on her, and that's just what I'm doing. But I have the distinct feeling that I amuse her. I'm not sure how I feel about that. We left the province of usual a long time ago, but that Dramora's got something planned, that's for sure. If I had to guess, I'd say it has something to do with vengeance. In my experience, it always has something to do with vengeance. Well, I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her, but I don't think that has anything to do with us. At least not directly. My gut says she won't stab us in the back. She's definitely a look-you-in-the-eyes kind of stabber. I can admire that. Ah, little Moro. While it might be entertaining to watch you bumble about the Citadel, I would much rather just see you get about your business. I'm sure that whatever you have planned will ultimately work in my favor. Right to the point? How distressful. Oh, very well. You seek a way into the Citadel, one that won't attract any undue notice. As it happens, I know just the thing. If you follow the east wall, you'll find a breach that leads inside. Never look a gift, Daedroth, in the maw, little Mordo. I offer information, nothing more. The warded building you seek is near the main gate. 
The kin will try to stop you. If they don't succeed, we will speak again. Ephraim had information I needed. It ultimately led me here. I enjoyed what you did to Ephraim, little mortal. I'm looking forward to seeing what mayhem you stir up here. I'll let the others know that you've got a way in. So, the little mortal, once more into the breach. I believe the alien king wants you to find a hidden key. Hurry. I think your friends have already made it into the sealed hall. How amusing. The little mortal suspects a trap. You are wise to fear the duplicity of Dramora, but I assure you that you are safe enough. Illusions hide this area from the kin. Just a little trick I recently picked up. Technically, I am helping you, not them. But this constant desire to know the why of things grows tiresome. I don't want to confuse you. Just know that I have a debt to settle. As long as helping you advances my goal, I will continue to do so. <laughs> the look on your face. How precious. You are dismayed. Why should this truth upset you? You benefit from my assistance, just as I benefit from yours. Patience, little mortal, you shall see. Now off with you. Nothing will come of us standing here. Death, most likely. The kin that guard this citadel will try to kill you. It's generally what we do. The old hall you seek is near the main gate. If I were you, and most thankfully I am not, I would make my way there post haste. Welcome to Bar's Bargains. Take a look at my goods. Or die. <laughs> I jest. I didn't mean the or die part. Not really. Merchant? I'm not a merchant. I'm a monster that's gonna rip off your head and spit into the gaping wound. Well, well, not really. I'm a merchant. But the expression on your face there amused me quite a lot. A swaggering mortal tried to bargain for his life after he summoned me. We couldn't reach an agreement. After that, he no longer needed the armor. It seemed a shame to let it go to waste. I don't have to explain myself to a mortal bloodsack. Does every puny mortal choose the same path in their miserable lives? No, of course not. So why should we? I prefer closing deals to killing mortals. You should be grateful.
walk through that tunnel wasn't pleasant. I never realized how much I hate cramped and crowded spaces. Anyway, thanks for coming through for us. I was worried we were going to be trapped in here. Now we do what we do best. We fight! King Dinar is upstairs. You should go and speak to him while we surprise the Dramora. They won't know what hit them. I knew you'd be able to deactivate the wards. The Fighter's Guild troops have already begun our two-pronged attack. The Fighters will draw the attention of the Dramora while you go to the Upper City. For the mages to utilize their Guild Hall's portal, you need to get it working. Find the four portal stones and activate them. Then the mages can join the fray. As Galerion pointed out, the old Gil Hall portals are designed to move people and material quickly. More efficient and less draining than personal teleport spells. And of course, they can arrive en masse. Uh, just what we need to surround the enemy. Coming through the gates again. We've got to stop them.
You did it again, my fearless friend! Well done! With the Dramora caught between my powerful mages and King Dinar's relentless fighters, they won't know which way to turn. The Mages' Guild and the Fighters' Guild will complete the conquest of the Citadel, but we need someone to storm the Pyramid Stronghold and deal with the leader of this installation, Vulcanaz Ceres. That someone, my friend, is you. Your common vernacular aside, that is indeed the critical task. Vulcanaz Ceres has a key to the Labyrinth. Eliminating the Vulcanaz and obtaining that key are critical components to our success here. Your curiosity knows no bounds. Very well, ask away. Part of Molog Ball's stronghold. It's a maze of tunnels that lead to the Endless Stair. No doubt the path is littered with traps and dangers, but we must push on. Cadwell tells us that the portal to the Planar Vortex awaits us at the Endless Stair. As far as I can tell, he's a trusted servant of Molog Ball. Not only does he command the forces of this citadel, but he also has access to the Dark Lord himself. Tongues of Xarxas, what is that then? Make it go away! Make it go away! I wonder what Aurelian would say if he knew I was this close to a Dramora. But to be completely honest with you, she makes me a little nervous. Absolutely. And I'll be right by your side. Assuming that Dramora is telling the truth and really opens the way for us. She appears to want to help, but I don't entirely trust her. Exciting, eh? Beasties with wings and angry Vulcanaz? You even managed to befriend a Dramora. Clever, that. I made friends with a Dramora once. We had some grand adventures, right until she tried to cut out my lungs. Oh, those were good times. Well, not just fun and games. There's excitement and bloodshed, too. Your Dramora lady friend says she can open the door to the pyramids, but she requires Daedric blood or some such. I'm afraid I'm fresh out of it. Only those of Daedric blood may enter the pyramid, little mortal. I told you that you'd need my help. A Daedric ritual locks this door, and only a willing offering of kin blood will open it. I am your key to Valkanaz Ceris. You are my key to vengeance. My clan was destroyed, erased from this existence. And the hand that orchestrated that destruction was Valkanas Ceris. He thought my clan was a threat to his power. Whatever the right or wrong of it, Ceris must pay for what he did. That I cannot do, little mortal. If the Valkanas is banished by my hand, I will lose honor and standing. If you kill him, however, I remain true to my word. And Ceris abides in the darkness with my lost clan until Cold Harbor allows him to return. Jode's bones! What is that thing? Yeah. <laughs> 
him was not in my hand his end was my doing you have been a most useful weapon little mortal take the labyrinth key with my thanks useful and earned the assistance I provided you. But I wouldn't recommend lingering in my territory, little mortal. I cannot vouch for the patience or control of my newly awakened kin. Thanos wants me to round up this interesting bunch and lead them into battle. This should be... challenging? Yes, that's a word. I understand you're going in ahead of us. Be careful in there, and leave a few Daedra for us to deal with. These louts better be ready for the battle of their miserable lives, because they haven't seen anything yet. I am proud of the guilds and what we have accomplished thus far, but it isn't over yet. I hope we can continue this unprecedented cooperation a while longer, for I fear our greatest challenge is yet to come. I've seen more than my fair share of years, many more. But in all that time, I've never contemplated something as foolhardy as this. We're about to face a Daedric Prince for the fate of our world, and I couldn't be more proud of all of you. I hope you brought the key. We're ready to make the final push, but we're finished if we can't get inside. This is our last chance to save our world. It's all or nothing now. How odd that the Dramora aided us against her kin and Molag Ball. She must have had a powerful thirst for vengeance. Anyway, it appears as if we are once again in your debt. Thank you, my brave friend. Our forces have gathered and are ready to move. We need to find the planar vortex and end the plane meld once and for all. Well done! Then we still have a chance. We sent in a small force to cause a distraction. They probably won't survive, but they should keep the enemy busy while we get the rest of our troops inside. We need to make sure their sacrifice isn't in vain. We want you to get in there and open the labyrinth before we send in the entire force and reveal our numbers. Hanan and Gabrielle can brief you on the battle plans for the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild strike teams that will follow after you. It all comes down to this, my friend. The final fanfare. The last hurrah. I don't know the meaning of the word fear, literally. I don't. But damn if the prospect of entering that gate doesn't twist my guts into knots.
The Fighters Guild is ready. We're prepared to follow you into the very heart of Molag Bal's lair. We shall not fail you. Of course, we've already sent in a small force, a distraction as it were. While they keep the enemy occupied, you slip in and open the labyrinth. As you clear a path, Fighters Guild soldiers will fall in behind you to hold the line. You need to be able to move fast. A large force would only draw attention to you and slow you down. Select one of our soldiers to take along if you like, but more than that would be more of a hindrance than a help. I wish you luck in there. Win or lose, it's been an honor to fight alongside you. That said, let's do our best to win this thing, all right? I'm not sincere very often, and I'd hate to have wasted it just before I die in battle. When I left the forest, I thought I was going to be alone in a new world. But everyone here, it feels like I'm with family again. You're all stuck with me now. I'm not leaving until we finish this. Oh, uh, every muscle must be properly stretched before we rush into battle. Wouldn't want to get a cramp when we make our heroic charge into death's chomping maw, would we? No longer will we hide in the darkness. No longer will we fear those who would hunt us. Today, we become the hunters. So, you have fought your way to Molag Ball's gates, outsider. Saying I am impressed would be an understatement. As promised, I have come to give you a gift from my people. It will aid you in your coming battles. Yes, our gift is a blessing from my people. A reward for the help you gave us. The blessing will manifest when you need it most. It will mend wounds that would otherwise end your life. Good luck, champion. You were a worthy opponent in the orchard. I'm almost disappointed that we must now fight alongside instead of against each other. Still, the Crimson Matron has sent me to honor your agreement, and I shall not fail you. The Mage's Guild stands ready to do our part for this effort. I just wish I had as much confidence as Vanus Galerion. We're facing some overwhelming odds here, you know. Molag Bal is using tactics similar to what we faced in the Chasm. He set up a portal to move his troops around quickly. As you head in to open the Labyrinth, we need you to close that portal. King Dinar insists that the initial strike be fast and precise. He doesn't want the entire army getting in your way or causing Molag Bal to respond in kind. You've proven yourself time and time again. We have faith that you can do this. Me? Really? I'd be honored. But I think you'd be better served with a fighter type right now. I'm sure we'll meet up somewhere along the way, though. I won't let the people of Nern down. After you disable the reinforcement portal, I'll try to catch up with you before you enter the labyrinth. We'll stop this plane meld together. We have to. Let's tear this coward apart. Let's make Molog Ball wish he'd never been born. Wait a minute. Are Daedric princes born? It doesn't matter. He'll wish something when we're done with him. Well, by the time you got over here, old chum, exercise is all well and good, but if I keep this up much longer, I'll be useless in the actual battle. <laughs> A question? How marvelous! I shall march by your side into the darkest depths of foul iniquity, our weapons aloft and aglow with the fires of eternal righteousness. You honor me this day, my friend. I gladly accept this mission.
My sword is yours, my boon companion. Together, we will protect the beautiful realm of Cold Harbor and perhaps even save that ugly rat hole you call home. Victory! Thy name is Cadwell. Our forces have gathered and are ready to move. We need to find the planar vortex and end the plane meld once and for all. Have you selected a companion to accompany you? If you need more time to speak with your friends, please take it. This might be the last chance you get. When you're ready, I'll give you final instructions and we can begin our final assault. Very well. Come with me and I'll explain the exact details of your mission. Our forces are gathered, and the time has come to strike fast and strike hard. Time is not on our side, so we must make every moment count. Troops are already inside, fighting and holding ground, causing a distraction so that you can deal with Molag Baal's ability to call reinforcements. For the initial assault, Cadwell will assist you. Don't be fooled by his bizarre antics. For his heart is full of courage and honor. Close the reinforcement portal. That is your first priority. Gabrielle and her forces will join you then for the push to the labyrinth. Once the labyrinth is opened, you must make your way through Molag Baal's personal sanctum and find the portal to the planar vortex. That is your ultimate objective. If we are to end the plane meld, we must disrupt the planar vortex and cease its destructive storm. Take your brave companion and venture forth. Close the reinforcement portal so that our forces can wage war on the Daedric Prince. Then open the labyrinth and lead us to the planar vortex. Our destiny is in your hands. Close that reinforcement portal so that we can send the rest of our forces inside. I know you will make me proud. One last quest, old chap. One last leap into the fire. Unless we survive, of course. But how likely is that? I love what the Dark Prince has done with this place. Quite lovely. Shame we have to march an army through here. Soldiers rarely take care to watch where they step. The Dark Lord's vile scheme fails today. I gave you my oath, and I honor such commitments. You sampled my power in the cliffs of failure. Use the power of my thorns as you see fit. Take this seed. Plant it in the body of any dead Dremora, as you did before. A zombie will rise to fight by your side. Together we will bring the Lord of Scheme's plans down around him.
Another beautiful creature has fallen under Moloch Hall's spell of evil. We must the set the darkness be only used for evil. We stand by you, champion. I'm going to run out of room on my scabbard. Where will I mark my kills? What jolly good fun. I believe the next stop is the labyrinth, old chum. Shall we toddle off? As soon as I sensed that you sealed Molag Bal's portal, I figured it was safe enough to follow you. Gabrielle has assembled a team of mages and scholars to aid you inside the labyrinth, as we need all of the fighters for the main assault. Now that we don't have to worry about overwhelming hordes of reinforcements, we're sending in the main assault force. While they keep Molag Bal's minions busy, you need to navigate the labyrinth and find the portal to the plain air vortex. Of course not. Even I am not so foolish as to enter Molag Bal's inner sanctum myself. Gabrielle and her mages will accompany you inside. Oh, you'll know the source of our world's destruction when you see it. Just find a way through the labyrinth, and try not to let the deadly traps and horrible monsters kill you. Now go, and good luck. This room is so big. I never expected the prince to be much of a reader. But all these books, imagine the wealth of knowledge they contain. I could spend years in here. If we didn't have more important matters to deal with, I mean. We can't get out of this room. The door on the other side won't budge, and we haven't been able to figure out the mechanism yet. Search around the room, I guess. Who knows, you might find something useful among the dark tomes and old fables about lusty Argonians. But I've never seen a mechanism like this before. It's rather fascinating. Why do Daedra never install guardrails? It's like they want Zer to step into the bottomless chasm and fall to his death! Zer has mentioned how much he hates heights, yes?
you think Molag Baal actually reads this stuff? Uh, sorry. Trying to help my brother find something useful here, but look at all these books. I always wondered what a Daedric prince read at bedtime. Some of this stuff is pretty disturbing. Zer would be fearless in the face of darkness. You would be wrong. The darkness is obviously designed to hinder our progress. An interesting conundrum, yes? Of course, Zer would not be here if he could not help. This one gives you the light to guide your way. Be wary where you step, for the darkness will most likely be the least of your worries. We're almost there. A one-way door. Looks like we can only go forward from here. I hope the others are all right. I can't imagine we have too much farther to go. We just need to cross this region, and we'll find the planar vortex in no time. Stick close to me. There's probably something waiting in here that wants to kill us. It has 
has to be a way to get out of here. Wait a moment. Something bad is about to happen. Sometimes I hate it when I'm right. Here they come. I need to get this door open. Hold them off while I work on this. find them here interested I've never been to this area before but it's breathtaking Cadwell your mastery of portals does you proud it took a bit of work but I was able to track you down just one of my many gifts if you must know Cadwell takes some getting used to I must admit but he really is an amazing fellow. He... Wait a moment. What happened? Where's the rest of your team? Well, the others will have to fend for themselves for the time being. I'll send Cadwell to find them shortly. Things are looking grim outside, by the way. We've lost many fine men and women already, and the battle is far from over. Even without his portal, Molog Ball has the ability to throw an unlimited number of forces at us. We're holding our own, but just barely. Winning isn't our goal, though. We just need to survive long enough for someone to reach the plain air vortex. Far too many. Hanan was caught by surprise and wiped out, along with a large number of Fighters Guild soldiers. King Dinar's group was also ambushed, but he managed to fight his way out of it. Many were wounded, though. Time is running out. Thank Cadwell for that small favor. I'm not sure how he does it, but I think he's grown so attached to Cold Harbor that he's actually become part of it. Unfortunately, he can only teleport one other person at a time, and it is a lengthy process. The portal that leads to the plain air vortex is just around the bend. Molog Ball won't simply let you walk up to it, though. He's going to do everything he can to stop you. I'll provide what help I can. And, as usual, it will be considerable. Now go!
You have performed better than I expected. Even in the face of unrelenting danger and the worst horrors Oblivion has to offer. I am impressed. Like you, I have come to finish this. Thanks to the efforts of your army, you have gotten this far without drawing the gaze of Molag Ball. I use a similar distraction to travel through this disagreeable realm unmolested. Keep working on it. You will solve the riddle eventually. There is more to do if you wish to save your world. To halt the plane meld, you must enter the Eye of the Storm. The planar vortex can only be disrupted from the inside. I have been with you every step of the way. I provided a safe haven in Cold Harbor. I gave you knowledge of the lights of Meridia. I needed a surrogate to act in my stead. I dared not risk exposing my true nature to the Dark Prince. Used you? Of course I used you. But you knew what was at stake from the beginning, and did what was necessary to save your world. Every choice you made was your own. As it happens, your choices suited my own ends. You must enter the planar vortex, the interstices of space and time, where Nern and Cold Harbor churn and meld. Destroy the dark anchors within. Unleash the power of a light of Meridia at the focal point of the plane meld, and disrupt the vortex. The life of one insignificant mortal to save an entire world? It is a small sacrifice. If you succeed, the brilliance of the unleashed light will consume the vortex and sever the plane meld. Nern will be saved. Ask your questions, but know that time is growing short. You cannot hope to succeed without the support of your allies. I will summon those who still live and draw them into the Vortex with us. The light of Meridia cleanses and purifies. There is nothing to fear from its brilliant embrace. will need stronger chains than that to stop me. Come, we have things to discuss. You seem surprised, mortal. Did you not suspect my true identity? I did not pretend, mortal. I am the groundskeeper. I merely hid the fact that I am also a Daedric Prince. My plans have been long in the making. Had I revealed myself too soon, I could have jeopardized everything. Do not 
not presume to question my motives. Suffice it to say, I required mortal assistance to destroy the Vortex and halt the plane meld. Reality is a game, mortal. Learn to play, or resign yourself to becoming one of the pieces that is meant to be sacrificed. Your allies have arrived. Speak to them before we continue. Meridia and Moloch Ball have always hated each other with a fiery passion, but that hatred has cost so many of our lives. I have a notion to show them both why Vanis Galarian's power should be feared. Chances. I don't believe in luck or fortune. We'll win this day with blood and magic, or we'll die trying. I won't lie to you. I doubt we can win this fight. But that doesn't mean we won't try. The same thing that happens to everybody. The world ends and everyone dies. And that's the best scenario. More likely, they'll all become soul-shriven slaves in Cold Harbor. No, we can't. But we're not the chosen ones. We're not heroes of destiny fated to succeed. We're simply soldiers, brothers and sisters fighting for what they care about. We're united and that makes us strong. That's what's important here. It's good to know your faith hasn't wavered. These men and women follow you. They face death itself to fight at your side. They will stand with you until the end. Don't disappoint them. I thought the battle behind us was dreadful, but this place, it boggles the mind. Still, we've made it this far. Victory is within our grasp, especially now that the Radiant Lady stands with us. I've seen the rise and fall of my people. Yet I stand before you, the last of my kind. I am the last, Aelid. But I am proud to call you my friend. Cruel tyrants and conquerors, who believed ourselves better than the other races of Nern. When the lesser races decided we were the enemy and united against us, our downfall was all but guaranteed. We were too stubborn to see where we were wrong. That is a reason I am the last king of the Aelids. I stood alongside the younger races, aided them. I believed in what they fought for. I was there when the power of High Rock switched from the Alessians to the Dareni. I always wanted to see a planar vortex up close and personal. Is that sky spectacular? Wait, well, what are we doing here again? Of course! Oh, our epic quest it must have slipped my mind. I've been on so many of these adventures, you know. After a while, they tend to blend together, kind of like these two realms are doing. Oh, sorry, old chap. That's a, a bad thing, right? Yes, yes, I knew that. Terrible getting your dismal world into the wondrous vistas of Cold Harbor. Like dipping bread in honey. Frightfully repulsive. Still, I believe this might just be my best quest yet. Well, that'd just be dis... Disgusting, wouldn't it? You know where honey comes from? It's regurgitated flower nectar. Oh, very well. I accept your challenge. Now, let's go and finish this so that I can taste your bitter poison. Concerned about what? We're heroes, my boon companion, and heroes always win. Let that be a lesson to you. Now, let's go and stop the plane mill.
Speak to your friends, for these moments may be their last. But do not tarry too long. Time is fleeting, and each moment is a thief that steals far more than it brings. The Lord of Brutality uses dark anchors to bind this vortex. We must destroy all three before the power of Meridia's light is unleashed. Otherwise, the resulting backlash could destroy Nern as surely as the Plainmeld would. Meridia's light must be unleashed at the focal point of the vortex. We will need to locate that focal point. Again, I remind you that this will be your last opportunity to speak to your allies before the final battle begins. When you are ready, let me know. So it begins. Destroy the remaining anchors. I shall begin searching for the focal point of the vortex. The chains bind both planes. We cannot use the light until those chains are destroyed. Go quickly. If only we could have known about all of this. If we'd have known about this before everything happened. Maybe my people could have stopped it. Or maybe I've spent my life hiding in a dark forest. I've never seen the sky over Balenwood. Or felt real rainwater on my skin. Molag Bal lied to us, and I'll never forgive him for that. I'm proud to be a part of all this. It's better to die fighting for what you believe in, than to die fat and content. I read that in a book. It wasn't a good book, but the phrase stuck with me. And I believe it too. You showed me that there was more to life than that dark forest. You gave me hope. For that, I'll fight at your side till this ends, one way or another. Make sure these anchors are destroyed. You have to keep moving. Place the light and disrupt this vortex. I'm sticking with her, my friend. Gabrielle and me, we've been through a lot. I'm not going to leave her alone. Darian. No one else dies today. That's an order. Come on, let's go set the light in place. Consume the light. 
You will tear it apart. You will destroy it. He will destroy Our father you. has spoken. He wishes us to challenge you and you and You believe the blight can destroy my plane hell? The prince thinks I would allow this. She is more foolish than I thought. Most curious. This light powers you somehow. Meridia, where are you hiding? Oh, how sad. You were drafted into a war you could never win. Stand against you. My counsel I'm tired of this game. Now you shall die. I shall enjoy watching the hero Get die. behind my shield. Did you think it would be that easy? My minions will tear you apart! Gabrielle! Focus all your energy into this! We can't let up! I'm... doing... my... best! You deal with the crystal. We'll take care of our new guests. The planar vortex is destroyed. Molag Baal's plane meld is at an end. You are mortal. You began to die the moment you were born. You are not fully dead. Not yet. Your song has only just begun, and many verses still lay before you. Do you not see how singular you are? How remarkable. You entered the realm of a Daedric prince, gathered an army strong enough to fight his legions, and saved your mortal world. You are a valuable asset, mortal. You will be of great use to us. For the nonce, we require nothing. But the Dark Princes have taken notice of you, and they have plans, and plans within plans. Prepare yourself, and be ready when Oblivion calls. Those present when you shattered the light were under my protection. They gather in the room beneath us, saying their farewells. Those who were not a part of the final battle? I cannot say. The Aeliad King suffered grievous wounds. He is near death. But he has not passed yet. 
The Vortex has been destroyed. I designed this place to be familiar and calming to you. It is a small pocket of oblivion, under my protection. No harm will come to you here. I fear the King's wounds are too extensive for us to heal. He... he doesn't have much time left. Please, you have to hold on. We... we can't lose any more of our companions. There's been too many deaths already. How can you ask me that after what we've been through? Darian, the King, so many injuries, so many deaths. I don't know, he wasn't here when we arrived. I... I didn't see him. When the light erupted, Vanus, Dinar, and I appeared here. No one else. Just us. I... I think Darian's gone. My time has finally come, it seems. I have... I have lived far longer than any of my people. Finally, I will... I will be able to join them once more. Meridia's shield protected the others. Darian and I were outside the shield, dealing with Morlog Baal's damn portals. I watched as light filled your body. You were a beacon. And the last thing I will ever see Darkness fills my eyes. As the light erupted around me, someone pushed me closer to Meridia's shield. It was too late to save me, but it did bring me here. My fate doesn't matter. I'm gladdened by the thought that Nern is safe. Then I shall... I shall rest well, knowing my final day the final day of the alien people was spent saving Nern from the clutches of Molag Baal. And I... I... I want you to have this. A gift from my people to the hero of Nern. To honor you and those who fell beside me in this great battle. Thank... Thank you. May the spirits guide me on my way. The planar vortex is destroyed. Molog Ball's plane meld is at an end. <laughs> 